what is up guys today I'm going to show you how to port forward and get admins on your Team Fortress 2 server which people have been asking me for time and time and time again okay first of all go into your internet explorer or your Firefox doesn't matter your internet then go to port www.portforward.com and then go to routers and then port router guide or whatever it's name I can't really see it and then pick the router you want mine is L so Linksy or just scroll down it doesn't matter and then mine's a W right there and WRT GS something and then hit the T in Team Fortress 2 with whatever the one you want or I guess it doesn't matter then this is a complete guide on how to do it now we are not going to do this guide because I'm going to actually show you guys how to do it. Then most jerks will just send you the video link. Now go into your CMD and then type IP config and scroll up and then pick. Look at your default gateway and then type it into the uh, thing. And then my password is admin. I mean. I guess it doesn't really matter what I put in, but I've always just put in admin. And then this is a big old list you come up with. And then just type TF2 server. It doesn't matter since I'm making a Gmod server. I'm just typing in TF2 and G slash Gmod. And now you want to start off with 2700 and then end with 27,020. Or 20. 27,000, I mean, why did I say 2,700? And then, you want to look at your IPv4 address. And then, put it into your, in the last thing right there. As you see, then you want to enable them. Click the enable box. It might be different for you, but I have an enable box. And then for the last ones, like, same thing, but except for... 27,021, 27,000, and then save settings. And then you're done with that. Your server is officially working. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do the admins. Go into your browser, type in www.sourcemm.net, and of course you got Windows, Macs, and Linux. Now I'm, I got Windows, so I'm going to use Windows. And then pick the one closest to you. I'm going to pick the Noob Salad. And then just open. And then just minimize it and make your VDF. Now you just want to fill in the first box. You do not want to fill in that box. And jitter generate that VDF. And just save it to your desktop. Since it's already on my desktop, I'm going to hit no. And then cancel. And just then go back to your browser and type in www.sourcemod.net. And then click the downloads little box. And then there's Windows, Mac, and Linux. And now. Now we're gonna, I'm on Windows, of course, and then I'm going to pick New Sal again and then open. Now, this doesn't usually take long, but, you know, whatever. And, um, yeah. For me, it's taking a little bit long. I don't know why. I'll be right back when this is uh, done. It's probably because I just deleted, I mean, I just restarted my computer, but I'll be right back when this is done. Alright guys, I'm back and it's finally done. Now you want to open up your, you know, you want to go to your team, TF2 server folder. Uh, go to your orange box, your TF, and then your... Uh, then you want to make an add. Uh, uh, oops. Then you want to make an add-ons folder, and then it should. And I, since I already got one, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. Yes. And go into your add-ons folder, and click, and go to your meta mod uh, little thing, and then drag your meta mod. Now go into your add-ons and drag your meta mod into your uh, add-ons folder, and then you should have that. And you can close that or just minimize it if you want to. And then go to your source mod. Go to click add ons. And then click that. And then, no, wait, don't click that. And click that. 
Don't click that. <laughs> Put the drag the source mod into to your into your uh, thing. No, and then drag your metamod dot VDF into your thing. And now, and and then drag your source and go to metamod drag your source mod dot VDF into your thing into your metamod folder in your add-ons folder. And go back to your TF2 server. Orange box TF. Then go to CFG, and then drag. Go back, and then go to the source. And go to CFG, and then put the source mod into the CFG folder. And go to orange box TF source mod, and then go to your admin, and you want to delete every local content that it has in there, and then. But since I already de uh, deleted it, and this is my admins page, you want to do admin. And now for that, you want to type in admins, that thing, a name, that thing again, authentication, or just auth, steam, and then identity, your steam ID, and flags, whatever flags you want, and immunity, what, whatever, like, whatever you want. And go to at that ad thing right there, and then... It shows you what the flags do and what they're for. If you scroll down, you see Z. That's a root that gives you all the admin powers. All right, just cl look, minimize those out, or close them, whatever you want to. Um, then you want to go into Team Fortress 2. Just wait for it to load up. Sometimes it'll take a bit for me. I don't know why. Okay, yeah, okay, so cool, it's loud. And just go ahead and, and one thing I forgot, you want to minimize out of Team Fortress 2. And then I mess up right here. Don't don't follow this. Um, cuz the original things on my desktop which I forgot to use. Um which is not that one. Yeah, and just Open up your server, whatever it is that some people will have on my other videos. Some people will have the CRCDs, CDS, or the um, or the run server dot dot bat. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you use, but just I messed up. Just, I was wondering why. I was like, just I'm gonna close that out, and then that's that scares mine. Blech. That's the one I want. And when this gets done, I'll show you guys what else. It's, um, hold on. Give it one minute. Alright, there we go. To to see if this works properly, type meta type meta version into a thing. That means it works if it does not, and then to also type meta list that m e t a lit space list, and then if those don't work, then you got to re-download it. Now go to LAN, refresh, and then there's my server. Make sure if you don't get those, re-download, and just wait for my server to get up. And just wait. Still waiting. You yeah, see, I, I downloaded the map uh, Two Fork Classic Version 1, which which I really enjoy. And I'm just going to download whatever team I want. And then that's a plugin, which I'll show in the next video. And then type in dash admin. If you get that, then your admin things work successfully. So I'm just going to slay myself. <laughs> And that's another plugin right there, which I will get, show you guys later. Type in admin. Wait, that's all the stuff you'll get for admin. And as you see right there. And that's all we got for right there. Pa -pa 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 Peace out. This has been a Rage of Kids production.